And here we go, Chris here at Sulphur Tools, playing Tropico 4 again. Uh, Pierce Surf Station is in a bitter election right now with uh, Gonzalo's down there, but he's winning the... He's winning 84-25. Of course people are going to vote for Pierce. So we've got a general who just arrived. Uh, See? Uh, Guzman from some country I don't recognize. Okay, there we go. Guzman coming into this military base. It's going to show all these soldiers who's boss. I think I only have like three soldiers, but still. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to go and build one of these churches. I can't think of a better place to build a church than on this person's house right here. When I look at the uh, infrastructure of this town, these streets really weren't thought out well. We're just leading to a... Well, we got parking spaces, so at least there's that. Let's build this bunkhouse for these two fishermen. Because that's what I care about. I care about these fishermen. I don't want them living in shacks. I want them living in a bunkhouse. I don't get this. I, I built a bunkhouse for you poor homeless people and you're not living in my bunkhouse. You should move right here. Look at it. It has a trash can. You don't have trash can. You have clothes hanging on clotheslines. I have a trash can for you guys. Why aren't you moving here? Look at that. It even has words on it. Barato. Para alkilar. And then a little sign that says La L L Loma or something like that. Who wouldn't want to live in this bunkhouse? Congratulations, oh, Presidente. You have I won elections. President, just like that. People, are People love me. I'm gonna, I don't know if this is wise to put a garbage dump right next to the church. But I'm going to do it. I think at this time, though, it's, pr it's probably best to start building schools, because everyone's pretty dumb here. So I'm, I'm going to be nice, I'm going to put the schools right next to the tenements. And I'm, I'm even going to build a high school too, because look at that, I care about my people. As long as a building doesn't catch on fire, because I don't have any firefighters, things are going to be perfect. Soon. Oh. God, a drought. Fine, fine, fine. We'll make a drought thing. God. Okay, I'm gonna water the field. Oh, oh, I can't do anything. Watering the field is a giant waste of money, apparently. Is that a helicopter? What the hell? Oh, wow, that's really cool. So helicopters just come in and water fields from this. It's really awesome. That, that, that's acceptable right there. Oh, hey, my fishermen are living in the bunkhouses now. Good job. Arthur, Arthur Collins, living in the bunkhouse. Good job, man. Now, this is where, this strip of land right here is going to be really cool now. Because I think I'm going to build, and everyone's going to love this. I'm going to build another church here just to make them happy. This is how this is how crazy I am. Right next to the church, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna build a theater. That's what I'm gonna do. Right next, this is gonna be the place to go. Everyone's gonna want to come here. They're gonna go to church. They're gonna leave church. They're gonna go and they're gonna go to the theater and like have a good laugh afterwards. There's a rebel attack. The rebels what? are launching an attack as I speak, sir. To arms! To arms! Why are the rebels attacking? Why are the rebels attacking? How 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 are they attacking? We have. They can't win this. Oh, there's only four rebels? Dude, we've got eight soldiers. We've got this in the bag. Oh, oh my god. Look at this. Okay. So Ray is up there, is leading the charge. Then we got these four coming in. Rebels have nothing on us. I wonder what Mancini's thinking as he's just going to work, seeing all these rebels run right past him with guns. See, now that we've got the economy weak going for these people, we can start focusing on the fun stuff, like college and restaurants and oh it's it's raining again this is joyous news oh my god rebels don't attack the turtle don't attack the turtle rebels okay okay here comes charles now last time charles did pretty badly if i recall but this time i think he's got it he's gonna come in there he's gonna kill at least one rebel or you can run Oh my god. 
And then who's this over here running? I mean, I don't blame you. Excelencia. ¿Qué necesitas? Melkor, you got this. You got this. Oh, Melkor killed a person. Oh, he killed two. Oh my God. He killed Carmelita. No me interesa. Oh, Melkor's just going. Oh, crazy. He killed Fortunato too. That's right, celebrate Melkor, you deserve this. Oh, look at that, he's just like celebrating over her body. Did they kill the other one? Oh, look at that, he killed Paula Diaz as well. No, this cannot be the end. Well, you know what, guys? This is the end. You ran into the Melkor. I wish I could like give him a, give him a raise on his own, but I can't. Otherwise, I'd have to give him all raises, and you know, we don't want that happening. Now, I know everyone's thinking, hey, Chris, you really shouldn't build a nuclear power plant basically a couple feet away from the schools. But think of it this way. It's going to give them a lot of good education, and they, it gives them a career to go towards. So we'll build it. Oh, no, our defense minister passed away. Oh, man. Let's have to find someone else. Uh, I think I'm going to take... Guzman used to be our old general, but uh, I think he's going to be the new defense minister. Muy buenas. Of course, now the army base has no general, so now I need to hire another one. So That guy's death cost me like $4,000. Thanks. Buenas tardes. Okay. Oh, an 18-year-old guy is running the entire power plant. So basically our entire electricity is in this 18-year-old guy who's bald and gray. Came uh, Guadalupe. Sounds like a good plan for me. So I believe the plan is to demolish this building and. Oh my God. Most blessed president. I built you a church. Now you want to continue. No one even runs the churches, for God's sake. I need my fish dinner. I'm trying to do it, you idiot. I, I, I know that. Oh my God. Okay. We'll, we'll build more fish farms. For God's sake, just let me build them. I can't, I can't, I can't do everything. Oh boy. I may have expanded way too fast here. Uh, the Pier Surf Station's enjoying the theater. And hey, once this nightclub gets built, people are gonna love it. Nightclub's gonna change. Look at this. It's got neon tropical, uh, it's got neon palm trees. How could anyone not like this? And look, look at these great signs and, and the graffiti on it. Who who wouldn't want to see a uh, who wouldn't want to see a performance by Yog? She's one of the greatest pop stars in all of Tropico. Yog. Oh gosh, 13 old immigrants. I don't think I have enough jobs for all these people. Where's my immigration office? We gotta we gotta uh, quickly shut this down. I mean, sure, we got another elections around the corner. But look at all this progress we've done today. We've built churches and theaters and nightclubs and other churches. Our our apartment places have doubled. We have electricity and multiple fishermen wharves. We repel the rebels. We have good relations with the U.S. and the USSR. Garbage dumps are everywhere. We even have people working in our canneries now. The infrastructure of the roads looks a little bit better than it did before. I think this means, you know what, we're doing good economically. But next time, I think we gotta go and, and make this beautiful little waterfall thing into a more beautiful tourist area. But that is for next time. You know, I won't hold it against anyone if they skip the last video where I get destroyed and left for dead. You don't need to watch it. 